U.S. is China's number one trading partner. The U.S. takes 21% of Chinese exports. So anything that dampens China's exports to the U.S. also dampens China's growth in general. And if something that dampens China's growth also dampens China's imports. So, for example, if growth in China slows, China imports less iron ore. That's going to hurt the Australian dollar, since iron ore is one of their major exports to China. It's going to hurt demand for oil globally, which will hurt the Canadian dollar, because oil is one of Canada's major exports, and when the price of oil falls, the Canadian dollar tends to weaken. In this way, there are lots of these secondary impacts that reverberate throughout the world when the U.S.-China trade relationship, one of the most important trade relationships in the world, is damaged. For more information, please watch my daily market preview on the BD Swiss website.